This is good. I've thought it through. I know. I just got to find someone who can actually do this. It's a lot of money. Yeah, Bill Cavish. You know him? He works for Wolf. He's a friend. We represent clients to do business with them. I, I don't want to look like I'm asking him for a favor. Can I say that we're related? Can I say that I'm your uncle? No. No. Good morning, Bill. Norman Oppenheimer. I have to leave. This is unacceptable. So I'll tell my partners that we had a good conversation. May I ask what you do for a living? What do you need? I hope you get it. It would be my privilege to buy you these shoes. If I take the shoes, I have to pay for them. You don't have to. It's done. Is everything OK? Yeah. Enjoy. Can you explain to me how your business works? I'm curious. If you ever need anything, feel free to call. To be practical, we need to raise approximately $14 million to save us from the wrecking ball. And this is where our friend Norman Oppenheimer comes in. You know Norman Oppenheimer? No, I don't. Well, I don't know. Very nice, nice to meet you. you. Mr. Todd would like to speak with you. Would you mind joining me? You were in Arthur Todd's house. Yeah. This is my private home. No, you can't please. just walk in it and sit at my table. Could I introduce you to him sometime? You know who he is, right? Don't waste my time. Yeah, Joe, but this is time sensitive. You spoke to him? I'm not following you, Norman. Did you speak to him or not? Why haven't you returned my phone call? Why do I get the feeling that nothing you tell me is real? Let's just say, get ready for a big surprise. You're like a, a drowning man trying to wave at an ocean liner. But I'm a good swimmer. Yeah, don't forget that. Something good will happen. Trust me. <laughs>